Hey, welcome back. We got a new studio. <laughs> we got a new room. It's one room over from our previous room. I'm Sean. This is Joy. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about nothing. Because nothing has happened since nothing. we got our truck in the last podcast. Yeah. We can talk about our new set, how long it took to build this out. We can talk about how much all the uh, this audio equipment cost us. Just kidding. It's the same stuff. <laughs> and it didn't cost us anything. Yeah. And we just literally moved our lights from one room to the other because I hated that room. Yeah. So the podcast room that we have been doing our recording in yeah. um, was a small office that um, Sean didn't like working in when we first moved here. He thought when we first got here, he was like, this is perfect for it my was office. pretty fancy. Um, and then being in office with a glass door, you hated being in there because it's just dark and it's too cold. It's dark. Um, it's carpeted. It's nice in there, but anyway, so he hated it and he kept saying, I want to do it at my desk. And this is where he works every day. Yeah. Nine to five. Well, really just all day, every day, all night. Um, so we finally, he finally convinced me to spend Probably a good half an hour moving all the equipment from <laughs> one is, room to another. <laughs> yeah, was, you did great. Yeah. It was great watching you set everything up. Yeah. There was a couple times when your feet were on the desk and I was thinking dirty thoughts in my head of just like... <laughs> oh, dirty thoughts, like bad thoughts. This guy when making me move... Feet, Everything over here, sitting here with his feet up. Yeah, on my phone. <laughs> on your phone while I'm moving everything. I was testing the audio level. I was thinking like in my head like, this is he's the audio guy and he's making me do all the I moving. was testing the audio. Mm -hmm. all right. Hey, you should show everybody your new mug that you got today. <laughs> I got a new Yeti mug. Yeah, so. That's about all. So the kids in basketball, <clears throat> we go to Dick's. Uh, to get our new uh, shoes, new shoes, some clothes to wear for basketball, yeah, some some shorts. So our Bailey, she's um, I've said from the beginning, she's not very much a team sport kind of person. Um, but I think maybe it's just because she hasn't found a sport that she's been interested in. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, but before we took her out of school a year and a half ago, at the end of second grade she had expressed some interest in basketball so then when we put her back into school this year which was a whole thing that maybe we can talk about yeah we could um but when we decided to do that um i went and met her teacher and her teacher was saying oh there's a few kids in our class that are in basketball and you should look into it and bailey said yes i want to so we signed her right up and so yeah, that happened on Thursday, and she did really well, and it was impressive watching her do it. She was excited. She loved it. Yep. And so, yeah, we just, anyway, we went to Dick's and got her some basketball shoes and stuff like that. I don't know. That's yeah. That's all there is to say about that. And then, and then they had the Yeti there. And then oh, they yeah. The Yeti, I've been, a couple of days ago when we were drinking beer, you like your beer out of I, coolers like that. I just... Yeah, because then they stay cold longer. For sure. I just don't like, like my least favorite thing about beer. And you got black is, one, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, pretty I'm cool. really enjoying this. Um, but I had the Walmart version, um, which is considerably cheaper. Ozark Trail. Uh, oh, the Ozark Trail ones. Those They're are nice. very similar. They keep them pretty much just as cold. Um, maybe not quite, but pretty close. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, except... That the lid that comes with the Ozark Yeah, that's ones, the biggest thing. It wasn't even like you needed a Yeti. But you saw I had a Yeti when we first got our Yeti. Well, Drinkware. He, yeah, he had the large one and I had the regular size one. And um, so then when we found the Ozark ones, I was like, well, I don't need a Yeti one. I'll just get an Ozark one. Well, yeah. then the problem was is the lid every time it would fall over, would just <laughs> you pop get, off. You get really upset. Well, it's... Every it, time. And, but and it's because yeah. this is 32 ounces, right? I can't tell you the quality the of lid, Yeti. The lid of the Ozark one, 
every time it fell would pop off and it would always be full. It would always be right. completely full and like a kid would knock Water. it over or whatever. And the whole 32 ounces would just unload wherever Ooh, I was. Yeah. Um, the first time I was just disappointed and every time after that I was just livid. It was so annoying because it was yeah. just like the lid would just like fall off. And then I switched to using a Yeti lid on my Ozark and that worked sort of, but it still wasn't super secure. Um, I never had a problem with mine. And so, and I think that was a, that was a turning point is, is I can't say, I can't speak to the quality of it. Cause I mean, I've the never Ozark one or the Yeti one, the Yeti. I mean, I like mine, but I've never, um, I've never tested them yeah. to make sure that they stay cold. It works for me, but, the lid is Stays superior. On. The lid the Ozark Trail. It and not only the lid, but the way it fits together. This one, like if having the magnet thing on the top closed, when it tips right. over, if it's held up, like there's water in this, but like <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not completely leak proof, but like usually <laughs> maybe mine, just, maybe mine just. I oh, see mine's pretty good. <laughs> Well, it doesn't fall off anyway. Anyway, but my point is, is like, <laughs> um, you're all wet. That happened. My point is, is when you have little kids knocking your water cup over all the time, it's good to only get a little sprinkle on you versus, you know, a, a poured lid. the entire thing poured on you. Yeah. Or so all over the rug or off. all over the floor, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, so that was my new. So congratulations! Today. That's an awesome purchase. Yeah, nice. Looks great. I'm a little jealous that it's looks cool. You wanted me to get a different color. No, I was like, I was cool. I was cool for the black. And it was between that and a hydro flask, and I just decided. Hydro flask. If if somebody knows why hydro flask, I mean, they might be superior in keeping uh, liquids cool. But it's why gotta, does everybody love it's hydro flask? Be like because hiking is like the cool thing now. So you just carry it. And yeah, I guess I can see that. That way you can just throw it in your bag. Yeah. What you about camelbacks? I mean? Camelbacks aren't cool. Yeah, I don't know. Like the vests and yeah, backpacks the backpacks. And stuff. Yeah. I mean that's because it's a backpack with water in it. It's weird. Okay. And it's not sure. like I don't know. Hydro flasks have the pretty colors and yeah. Bailey this was telling me she wanted a hydro flask because she wants to be a Visco girl. What's that? So I'm not super educated on it. but it is, Oh, I know what that is. You, you mentioned that the other day. Mm-hmm. That's, your, uh, that's your picture thing. Yeah, so Visco is an app. VSCO. VSCO. It's an app for photo editing. I've been using it for years. Um, and then a friend of mine... Was saying how Visco Girls is the new thing, and mm-hmm. Bailey was like, "Oh, I know what that is," and I'm like, "I don't know what that is." I had to look it up, and it's basically like, I don't know. It's who I'm turning into on accident. It's like, I guess it's just a look. Like it's just like it's like the new hipster, mm. but it's like California girl mixed with like. I don't know. It's like oversized T-shirts and like Starbucks. color, colorful things and scrunchies and chapsticks, She's, like happy things. She does what? No, that's Birdie. That where's the scrunchie go? Bailey wants scrunchies too. She asked me to go get her scrunchies. Are, and the were scrunchies th- not cool, and then they're making a comeback? Yeah, they were cool in like the '90s or I the '80s, that. I guess. And then in the 2000s, they became like, oh my gosh, that was that's old. And then now 90s are coming back. So scrunchies are coming back. And I think what I, from what I gather is Visco Girls is like taking the 90s. Yeah. And then instead of it being like a dirty grunge thing, it's like all the happy, colorful, cheerful things of the 90s now. Cool. But that's what I gather. So educate us if you know anything different. For sure. But I think it's just like another fad, like the hipster thing and stuff like that. So. Mm. Visco. Visco. I think it's Visco. I don't know. I could be saying it wrong. Bailey says it's Visco. Jen said it was Visco. And Bailey, like, corrected her. She's like, it's Visco. Who cares? I heard about it on TikTok. That's how she knows. Mm. Moving on. (laughs) 
that was an unnecessary subject to talk so about. So we moved uh, the studio. I call it st- Studio Mac. The problem is we're going to have to move it all back tonight. Yeah, because we got... A showing tomorrow. And 48 sh- tomorrow. 49, 49 and, 50 and 50 on Sunday. Now that only means one thing. We were overpriced. Way overpriced. 50 showings. I mean... We got a few offers. We got, yeah. We were stingy. The funny thing was, is the first offer <laughs> is, is where about we're at now. where we're at now. About and we were month, so like... Five weeks ago. Ugh, I can't believe they Jeez. would offer that much. And ugh. now we're like, if they came back and offered back, the same please. thing, we'd be like, okay. Please. We'll give it to you for yep. that much. Look, we probably wouldn't even negotiate showings, that much. <clears throat> is crazy. I think I mentioned it before. When we first listed the house, I said, oh... You know, we got our like fourth or fifth showing. I'm like, all we need is 10 because that's the industry average. You get 10 showings and you get an offer. And then you accept that offer. We've had 50 showings. That means you've literally cleaned the house at least 25, 30 times and left for an extended period of time, whether it was an hour or two hours. But that is insane to me. So I think we're at a price now uh, where we just lowered it again. Just this lowered past it again. Week. It's where we've been getting offers and we're coming down to the wire. Come down to the wire. And we, we told her, we told the realtor, we need to sell it. Uh, this, that's a nice swag way back to this. Uh, we need to sell it. And Swagway. Swagway. And we <laughs> get us the hell out of this house, even though we love it. Get us out. We want to be out. And it's September 12th, 13th now. But we want to get out. So she's helping us yep. do that. And, uh, oh, th- that's why. Uh, s- this, the swag way to this <laughs> is I like this area better. But we're going to be moving a lot over the next four weeks. Like, we're going to be moving Studio Mac anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. I think the next thing we're going to try is to figure out if we can record from our AirPods into our phone. Yeah, yeah, we got to do some research on that. So that we can um, just Yeah, we got do the it fancy like mics right quick now. Quick and easy. Got a fancy soundboard, sound mixing board down here. But uh, we're going to be doing a lot of tests, and we've talked about, like, changing up the podcast. And we talked about it before, but we've got some really exciting things I'm working on, mm-hmm. um, exciting topics exciting uh, aspects to introduce to the podcast. We have our first sponsor, which we're really excited to have. (laughs) We're really lucky to have them. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we didn't have them, we wouldn't even be able to do this road trip. So we're going to get lots of views through them. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll introduce that sponsor when they, when they're on board. Yeah. It'll probably, they'll probably want to start around the time that we uh, get under contract and sell the house. So. Yeah. But they're going to be bringing a lot of exciting things here. They're going to be bringing audio. They're going to be bringing uh, new views. They're going to be br- building our, um, I won't say too much, but they're going to be building our our, uh, our audience. It's going to be really exciting. You're funny. We talked about, um, what else did we talk about, Joy? So we Oof. got the house. We're going to sell. I'm trying to stay optimistic. We're going to sell or we're going to get an offer in the next week and a half, two weeks. Because yeah. I don't want to reach fifth. I don't want to reach 100 showings. Oh, my gosh. That would murder me. <laughs> and just like, I think the thing that is killing me now is the last, the two offers that we've gotten. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my head. But like when we're... Not under contract, I'm like, or like when we don't have an offer on the table, I'm like, oh, we can't. Like, I would just and accept anything, one. and then we get one. And you're like, wait a minute, and we're like, that's too low, and then we deny it, and then I'm like, should we have said yes? Should we have said yes? And then, and then I, three days later, I'm like, why did why didn't we why didn't we accept? Why didn't we? Yeah, I mean, this house is way way nice to us, but nobody gives a shit. you know what I mean? Nobody nobody cares like. Yeah, this is our house because we obviously we like it, but people when they come in, they're like, uh, "It's dirty," or the floorboards need to be changed, or you know maybe they don't like the layout. 
I don't know what they think. I have no idea. We on the last offer they said that there was a I don't know, they were saying like there's a lot of things that need to be done. But like oh, yeah. the thing that's frustrating for us is like we still invested a lot of money, time and effort into making the house what it is. Yeah. So we see what we've done to it and then they come in and they're like it feels like they're picking it apart. I which they shop, were. Which is fine because I get it because I went house shopping too. Like I pick things apart too, but... It's a big it, investment. Well, and I was telling Sean how like it's like when a, somebody insults your family and you're like, wait a minute, I can talk crap on my family. You're not allowed to talk crap on my family. So then it's like, <laughs> oh, like... You have a problem with the patio. Hold um, up. I know the patio sucks, but you're not allowed to say it. This isn't your house. This is my house. Like you need to love it and just accept it for who it is. The brick pavers have been needing to be taken out and re put in for so long that we, I forgot it was an issue. Yeah. I look at it and like it's fun, looks fine to me. Yeah. That was the funny <laughs> part is the last person that made an offer. That was one of the things they said. The brick pavers in the backyard need to be completely taken out and put back in. And when we moved in, I remember Sean saying that that was a task he wanted to do, that he needed to take them all out and put them all back in and yeah. like fix them. And then when we talked about it with the offer, he was like, they're fine. What are they talking about? There's nothing wrong with them. And yeah. then he went back out there and he was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's right. They complained about the aluminum siding. There's a dent in the aluminum siding. Because we've had hail. Yeah. But every time the vinyl pe- or the you know the new siding people come by and they're like, hey, let me sell you siding. You know, I be asked funny. and I said, is there a problem with the dents in it? Like, is there a pro- like is is it going to cause like damage or structural damage or something? And they're like, no, it's just cosmetic. And I'm like, okay, well then, no, I don't want new siding if there's just some dents in it. Like, who yeah. cares? You know, it'd be funny is before we started this podcast, we with fifty people going in here, I asked. How many people do you think have uh, stalked us online? Because we have enough things around the house. Was that you? No. We have enough things around the house. I thought it was. You know, that we need to soundproof this studio. Did you let Duke outside? Yeah. He's outside. You want to go get her? Yeah, I'll get her. Let me finish this thought. I was asking, how many people (laughs) have... um, have stalked us online and then we're talking talking garbage about these people because they put that low offer in. What if they were the ones that stalked, that stalked us, us online. and we're talking bad well, the funny, about them? Well, what I'm saying no hard feelings. Like, um, the funny thing but is, don't is, is I wish I would have just accepted it, accepted their offer and been like, you're like, the thing is, is when they said They're the things that were wrong with the house, yeah. like I was saying, like, I know, like, yeah, those. Those are things that right. are ne- not necessarily like perfect about the house. I just get defensive, like it's like yeah. a part of my family. <laughs> like, now I this think is my house, like we created this to be our home, and that's why we say like this is our house. I love it, but other people don't love it because it's not their it's not house. Their house, yet. yeah, yeah. I totally get that. Now, my life lesson here was that we did these things for the house. We did the floor, which needed to be done, the hardwood floor. Uh, we did the kitchen, we did the carpet, but people don't care about that. Yeah. People care about this water heater and the oh furnace. Gosh. Yeah. How there, old is the water so heater and how, much, how old is about, the furnace? Yeah, the furnace We and could the have saved heater. so much money just saying, those are brand new, I just installed the those, roof, or we just had those siding, installed. Like we could have done the siding, Boom. Done. the furnace and the air conditioning That's all people care about. They don't care about a new people kitchen. People would be like, okay, I'll buy wow, it. It's taken care of. Yeah. But no, they're... <laughs> we did the cosmetic things that the big, we made the big look, ticket make items. the house look better. Yeah, the big we they're spent, they're way more money. Yeah, we spent thousands of dollars on I'm all this. I'm gonna let the dog in. Okay. Did I cut you off? Yeah, it's fine. Go no, ahead. no, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I don't know what I was gonna say. Go. We spent a lot of money on the big ticket items. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we get the dog. We. Love you. Love you. We also made it a smart home. And that doesn't do shit. Yeah, I remember everybody was like, oh, yeah, it adds like 10%. Uh, 10% nah. doesn't mean anything. 
when nobody cares <laughs> that it's a smart home. They don't care. We got <coughs> we have um because they don't see these these awesome lights. Because I just went up to let Duke in, and the lights turn on for me. Yeah, nobody comes after five. They don't and when know. they do, we turn yeah. all the lights on before they even show up. Yeah, they don't see the different colors of them. We don't, you know, they don't know what a ring is. And I don't think they, they don't know there's motion detectors. They don't know that those are the cameras. Mm -hmm. They don't know that they're the automated locks on the doors. Mm -hmm. Like all these things are really sweet, but Mm -hmm. they don't know that stuff. And it doesn't add any value to the house. They don't give a care. Yeah, like. Percent, oh, 10 percent. Right. Like, what does that even mean? Because they don't know these accept, exist. No, and nobody's accepting our offers anyway, or like our price anyway. So yeah. we keep having to lower it anyway. Now I'm depressed. It's fine. I was telling my mom and Sean, just like, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, and as long as we can get out of personal debt, I don't care how much we get back. And I just am ready to be on the road again. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, on the all road. of the offers that we've gotten are able to, to get it. Yeah, to do that. Yeah, plus more. I'm just ready to go do it. Yeah, yeah like we. Um, the good thing is, is that technically we're still on track because the goal was to get out of the house and be on the road before Halloween and get down to Phoenix by Halloween. Yeah, we're pretty and close. Technically, we can still do that. Mm-hmm. It's. Nerve wracking. Six weeks away, right? Right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You look great. Thank you. You look good too. I like your new hat. Thanks. I'm just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to have adventures. I'm ready to, I don't know, go. Yeah. Oh, you know what I got to do? Hmm. What we have to do? What do we have to do? Is um, I have to tell my clients the plan. <laughs> I thought kind of about big. that. Because some of your clients are going to be like, um, we would rather have somebody in? who's in the area. Yeah. Can I you mean, come into the office? It'll probably help that you can be like, it's only going to be a year, you know? Right. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> What else should we talk about? Oh, let's talk about all the goodies I got on my truck. I'll post videos on that. Okay. I mean, we kind of already it. talked about it. Yeah, though. that's about it. You talked about it on the last episode. Do you think they like our um, our wall? I don't know. The people that are trying to buy the house? Anybody. I don't know. Oh, they, we, cha- we, we colored, we bought paint for our door. And then I don't want to do it. There's a barrier. So our front door is like a, it's called Radiant Orchid. It's a <laughs> Pantone. Pantone color you can uh, from that. 2014. And I thought it was fun. And Sean we were gonna apparently do, hated it. And we I were didn't going know. to do Pantone color of the year. I was going to do it every year. But then the next year was like... Purple. No. The next year was... Oh, teal? No. The next year... Gray? I'm going to hurt you. It's blue. No. The next year was like a dark red, which is exactly what the door was before I painted it. (laughs) And I was like, I'm not painting it back that color. I don't want it that color. And then the next color was... It was like the color of your... A maroon. It was like a maroon, like a dark red maroon color. And that's the color the door was before. And I was like, I'm not painting it back to that color. And then the I next was year was light pink and light blue. And I was like... Both? Yeah. How does it have color of the year when they have two colors of the year? That year they decided to have two. Somebody one year it was a like a lime green. And I was like, oh, I should do that one. I don't know what the color is. This we got year. a nice grayish blue. What is it called? Uh, I don't know. But it's like a slate bluish gray color. And it's really nice. But I just don't. It's like it's so much work and it's been so rainy. It is. And, and yeah, it has I been. keep thinking like it's just a lot of work to 
to do that and I have like kids and then it's like, right. oh, I have to put the glass storm door in so that if it's like starts raining again, it doesn't get on the door while it Ugh, dries. So much work. I just, and like I could, it's not like I couldn't do it. It's just like um, I, I get like indignant. And I make excuses for myself where I'm like, I like this door. I shouldn't have to paint. Yeah. But we've gotten, so when we, I think we've probably talked about it on a previous podcast, but when we've listened to people on the ring when they show up to the house. <laughs> Not that we watch them all the time. We look at every single person that comes to the house. No, we don't. Um, and when, when they do and they complain about the front door color, I get butt hurt. And I get like, why don't they like the color of the front door? I picked it. It's fun. <clears throat> Out of 50 people, someone had to like it. <sighs> I know. And then there was one person that said the house was too white. <laughs> and I was like, I bet they like the color of the front door. Yeah. I was like, my dad and your mom, where they paint. Oh, are they listening to this? Yeah, it's okay. Where they paint. Um, their walls every different different colors. Every room is a different color. Yeah. Which I remember growing up and loving that. Yeah. Made but, sense. But then well, and I think it was Not like a, it was sense, a thing. Yeah. Uh it was normal like 10, 15 years ago. Right. Yeah. Now like, it's well, like, not, like everything is it pastel should be, colors or like Yeah, my mom's really into the pastels. Easter colors. Yeah. Like each room is like a not light hurting green, your eyes. Light but blue, light. Whatever. My dad did the same thing. And then... Um, Except he had an accent wall that was... Um, red. Was this color. That color red. <laughs> when <laughs> we were the, in your old he house. The maroon color. Did the you see it you or did he paint. paint? No, you painted over it. Yeah, but did you see it or... or yeah, no? I remember it because I remember when you were painting over it, your dad got all upset at you. And he was like, why yeah. are you painting over it? And you're like, dad, you have a Our red kids are going to say the same thing. When they go to the colors, They're and we're like, be like it's "Hey, so white! This is this, this is, is blinding. This isn't white. This is this is bone." <laughs> like this is off white. Yeah, mom, it's white. And yeah. uh, there's um, I've showed you this, but there's one girl. This is rainy that's, cloud. I feel like the bold colors are coming back now. Like where people, it's not about right now. I feel like it's not about pastel colors. It's bold. about, it's about bold, like gem colored. I saw walls. I saw a picture. And like a whole room being one color. Oh, I was in Evanston this week. And, uh, I was like, how much are these prices in Evanston of the houses? Mm -hmm. And they put ours to shame. But anyway, like really expensive. This, the $5 million one I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> had uh i mean it was a it was like a mcmansion um but they had the same cubby blue room that we had mm -hmm. in virginia i like that and it was white it was uh this room was cubby blue and it had windowsills framed windowsills that were white and it looks great it looked great in that room that's what our room was. I think yeah. we just weren't back in Virginia. Into it. it looked cool. It just it was like really bright, fucking, uh, pretty br vibrant. Sorry, it was bright. Well, and I remember when we went to leave, they were like, "Um, <laughs> you're painting. You this. need to paint over this." So we painted that bone, and we <laughs> we painted, but did we paint it like a cream? It was like a it was like a brown. Yeah, because I remember like, you can't be mad at this. It was the same color that we then went to Arizona and we painted your dad's whole house the same color, Ugh. and then we lived in it. And we we're like, this is gross. Yeah, I wonder they must. And have then been we really moved here, and left. the whole house was that same brown. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm so sick of that color. Yeah, that's what our kids are going to say about white. Yep, this is white, but upstairs isn't white. This is this is literally white, pure this, white. This is like grab a bucket of paint and paint it Just white. Just because it was so dark in this. I mean, I'm well, working down here. it was all... You have accents in it was in yellow. The, it was yellow. Yeah, it was here. yellow, yeah. And then all the sconces were yellowed Ugh. and all the lights were like soft white, like, like a, a country yellow. country club cigar shop. It just was very warm down here, which I think would have been fine if it was more the like delicate a... delicate word. If it was more like warm. a theater... Type room, it would have been a big deal. Wouldn't have been a big deal. Well, it's but wired you were it, making but... it for your office and a gym, right? And we wanted bright white, energizing. I love it. Well, it's way better for you to stay think. awake. Yeah. When you, it's all white and you don't feel like you're in a basement down here because it's so white and 
And there's enough stuff. I feel like if the room was empty, it would feel weird. Like it would feel like it was just drywall. But I think there's enough stuff in here that it doesn't feel like drywall. Yeah, we have those pops of color. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Where are we at on time? I don't know. How long are we making these podcasts? Like 30 minutes. Our first ones were like an hour, weren't they? No. What about when we get our sponsorship? I mean, we can make them longer when we have better content, but right now it's just updates, so. Hmm. So maybe we'll sign off. Okay. And. I had so many things to talk about. (laughs) You had nothing to contribute. Um, Before I overdose on Fisherman's Friend. And we will... Talk to you I soon. was there's some I always, oh all I'm thinking about is how exciting this next four or five weeks are going to be because oh, we're moving yeah. and I mean I'm staying optimistic. Do you hear that? Yeah, so we hear we hear things outside of our headphones. You guys can't hear it, but it, it's like a kid. It's not like a ghost. It's like a kid or a dog fart. What is that? We need like a, one of those ghost microphones where you pick up everything. Like EVP or EVP, please. <laughs> I love that guy. Roz. Roz Drezvelez. That's one of my favorite podcasts. We made it creepy. Oh, we can do a creepy one next. Except I only have secondhand ghost stories. We could talk about all our Oh, I meant like watching that movie. Oh, yeah. We can do that. We'll do that next. Cause it, oh, we can wait till October, too. No, we should do it now, and then oh, we can post yeah. it later. Yeah. So, okay, in the next five weeks, we have to sell a lot of stuff. And now I got to, like, sell our our, our gym equipment. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got to sell TVs. We have to sell a bunch of stuff. Yep. We have so to. So if you're interested in anything in our house. Right. We got to finish our, finish our pod. And we're lowering our house so much that now, instead of being able to give some of this stuff away, we actually have to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <coughs> yeah. Selling stuff, packing the rest of the stuff, and then um, scheduling scheduling like trips. Uh, one trip with a big U-Haul on the back, you know? Yeah. Trailer. And then we'll yeah. head, hopefully we can head straight to the RV place and get our RV and then. Oh, yeah. We're going to call them. Well, we can't do that now, until we sell the house. Yeah, There's so now, contract. I don't know when you're going to post this, uh, but th- we got to go through, we got to do the tour of the truck. Mm-hmm. That'll be a nice, solid, like, 20, 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have to talk about... Putting in your toolbox and putting yeah, in your... Yeah, I'll do that. Those videos, we'll do that. <laughs> Those will just be, like, regular videos on YouTube. We talked about that last time, and you yeah. said you were going to work on doing live YouTube videos. More well, they don't know that yet. Did. They might, uh, they might know, they might think that I just, I've already has have it in my truck. Mm. He doesn't, and he hasn't installed it, and he hasn't done a live, even though he wanted to do a live of buying the truck. I've been sick too. Things. That's true, and you've been busy. <laughs> yeah. Well, working in the city and stuff. Yeah, I haven't done. Anyway, so that about wraps so, it up this episode because we kind of ran out of things to talk about. Again. This is such a boring episode. Again. I mean, I feel like the other episodes we actually have had stuff to talk about. This episode, it's like we literally have nothing to say because it's like we still haven't sold the house. Let's see. We, we talked still- about our 50 showings. We talked about our sponsor. And uh, talked about my new Yeti, your new Yeti, and uh, yeah, I guess we're out, of, we're out of stuff. Oh, we talked about we're in the same spot, guys. Mm-hmm. Mom, your mom, our viewers, <laughs> I know, mom, dad, thanks for watching this episode. Here, um, here's my here's the episode, mom. We love you, love thanks you. for the support. 
This is an episode that the kids didn't wake up and come down. That was nice. Yeah, that's because we wore them out and put them to bed at nine. It's because we're in Studio Mac. (laughs) Studio Mac. Was that awkward? No, I liked it. I just was trying to hold a cough. Okay. So thanks for watching, and we will... We'll catch you next week. Catch you next week. Check out. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel and leave a review. Yep, and talk to us. Ask questions. Yeah, leave because comments. Clearly, we have questions. trouble coming up with content. When Give us content. We we asked for last time. House. And uh, I hope we come to the point where we stop asking for content. We're like, okay, guys, our generator's broken for the third time this week. This is how I'm going to fix it. The is full. Um, and I got poop on my hands from this, you know. Black water. Black water. I don't know if that's where it goes. No, but I think it's going to be exciting. This is the boring part, which is good because... All, with our sponsor, it's just going to get more exciting and more mm-hmm. more popular. And we got to, if you want to sponsor us too, uh, there's opportunities. Yep. Just email us at info at the road to mayhem.com. Is that what it is? Yeah. We're calling we're calling it the, uh, the road to mayhem? Info at the road to mayhem.com. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. So thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Peace.